This is Matt from The Troubled Maker, and today we're going to be making a 3D printed mask based off of the LED low poly mask found remixed on Thingiverse from New Yorker. And we're going to show you guys both how we printed it and we're going to show you guys how we wired it. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so I have my uh, 3D printed mask over here and now is the fun part. Uh, we are going to be wiring up some LED lights and the way that this model was designed is pretty straightforward. Um, there are little five millimeter holes along the bottom and along the top here. And as you can see, I've already done the top part. Now, what I did was um, I went ahead and wired these LEDs, and I'm going to show you how to wire some LEDs as well uh, on a mask like this if you guys choose to print the one that I printed and do a similar project. Um, basically, what I have here is I've purchased a kit from Amazon, uh, Microtivity. And these are five millimeter um, and they're slow changing. So they're slow rotating LEDs. They're a 30 pack. They operate anywhere from 3.2 to 3.6 volts. And um, I guess the model is IL604 and they come with resistors. Um, so you get 30 slow changing LEDs with resistors. And if you want to see how they look, I'll show you. I'm planning on powering this mask with an 18650 battery. So, uh, this is my negative main. And as you can see, the lights are red right now, but they'll slowly start changing colors. I think that's pretty darn cool. All right, well, I think you guys get the picture of that. So what I've chosen to do, basically there's uh, several ways you can wire LEDs. Um, you can either wire them in series or you can wire them in parallel. Uh, the difference is this, if you wire them in series back to back to back, Basically, you have to provide more voltage per LED that you add. So, if you have three LEDs, uh, or four, or let's just say three LEDs, at uh, three volts each, you'll need a roughly about a nine volt battery to run this. And I believe these run at about 20 milliamps. So, as you get higher in the voltage, you know, um, that's kind of starts becoming a little bit less safe and you know less practical and more expensive and less portable etc etc so we don't really want to wire them in series and what we want to do is we want to wire them in parallel and the what's great about parallel is that yes you will drain your battery source um, faster however um, what's uh, good about that is that They'll all operate on about the same voltage. And what's, what's good about these 18650 batteries, I got some really good LG uh, batteries. And um, these are, I think, 3000 milliamp batteries. They're 3.7 volts and they're awesome. Um, you could buy these at like vape shops or order them on, uh, on Amazon, etc. cetera. Um, but anyways, getting off topic here, when you do them in parallel, so all of the positive legs on the LED and to identify 
your positive lead, you could tell because it's the longer of the uh, shafts on the um, pins right here that you're going to be soldering in. And then your negative post is going to be the shorter one. Now also what I like to do, and I'm not sure, let me see if I can get the camera to focus on this, is if you notice, so the way I remember it is too, because we're going to be cutting these, sorry, get that to focus, there we go. You can see that it's shorter right here on the left side, on the inside of the actual 5 millimeter glass. The positive leg has a little short bit of metal in there, and that's a point contact diode. So that's basically where, that's the internal of it. And um, on the other side, on the uh, negative side, it's much bigger. So when I'm trying to figure out, oh, which one's uh, negative, which one's positive, it's just a helpful tip for you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, get started on uh, this project and I've already done sort of the first uh, part and I'm gonna walk you through how uh, how I did it and we're gonna do the uh, bottom side of it now so I think what I'm gonna do here is uh, flip this over and um, let's go ahead and uh, get started so on the bottom here we have uh, 10 I believe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 actually, 12 light emitting sources. So what I want to try to do, because I'm going to solder positive leads to positive leads, negative leads to negative leads, I want to try to line it up so that way when they're inside the slot, so we'll insert one like this. Like that, I want to have my negative post as close as possible to my next uh, LED that I'm going to stick in. So that would be this guy. So I want to have the two negative posts as close as possible. That way, what I can do is I can just bend these over and solder them together. And then I'll do sort of the opposite. I'll have positive and positive here. That way I can get this one closer to another positive lead. And then what we're going to do is we're going to jump, once they're all kind of bundled together in pairs, we're going to run a wire from each of them over, connecting them. So that way eventually we'll end up with all positive on one of these scrap wires. So we're going to wire them together. We'll have one connected to the red and currently that's going to be our negative uh, posts and then we'll have this kind of strange uh, I don't know what this color is uh, like light reddish color will be our positive wiring and eventually we'll meet up with the ones on the top here and we'll continue our uh, circuit so um, that's going to be sort of our continuation there and a couple things uh, you might need. So, um, of course, your LEDs are a must. You're going to need a soldering iron. I just have a cheap Hakko uh, FM202 and some flux. Uh, today I'm using Kester No Clean Flux. Ideally, you want to do this in sort of a uh, ventilated area, um, but uh, and or have a fume extractor. My fume extractor is an uh, FA430. It's a hacko, but I left the hose at my work. So I'm gonna wear a mask just so I don't breathe in uh, flux and, and solder. And that brings me to my next question. You'll need some solder. And uh, if you like some super glue to super glue in the diodes, I would wait to do that last though, because there's possible one of these diodes could be bad. Uh, so we'll have to, you know, hope for the best. A pair of scissors to cut off the legs and to strip wire. You can also use a wire stripper, obviously. Um, and uh, at least uh, one resistor, uh, one or two resistors. I think we're going to probably just need one, though. 
So, and I have a 200 ohm resistor. And to be honest with you, the resistor, it just has to be anywhere in the circuit. I chose to put mine uh, up here on the, uh, the ground or the, the negative uh, part of my circuit, okay? So, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get this going. So, first thing first, you're gonna wanna plan out your pairs. So, because they're not gonna all be next to each other and you can't put them all in parallel like that, we're gonna need to sort of jump the positively connected connections with the other ones by running a wire. So, first let's go ahead and get some of these uh, LEDs out. And remember the uh, orientation. I'm not gonna cut anything yet, so that should make it easy. So, um, right here, negative and negative. Perfect. Okay. And then, we're gonna do, um, positive and positive and so on, you get the idea. So now that we've got them all laid down, we're going to need some flux so we can start soldering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some flux on the connections. If you don't flux, then your solder isn't going to stick to the metal. You're going to have a, just a ball of solder rolling around. You'll be chasing it with your iron. And you can use any type of flux. You can use Rosencore, Kester, you know, whatever you want. It just needs to have some sort of flux. Now, the stuff I'm using will evaporate, so, to a degree. Okay. Now that we're done there, I'm ready to solder my wires. Nothing special there. It is now soldered in. So next, we're gonna attach all of our positive ones together, and then we'll attach all of our negative pairs together.
Okay, now that we are mostly wired up, let's test it out and see and cross our fingers. So, what I'm going to do is uh, connect the top LEDs to the bottom LEDs. Okay, let's go ahead. Negative. Hey, look at that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is maybe put some tape around here on the inside and down here. As you can see, this one's much cleaner <laughs> than my first attempt uh, where I was kind of figuring out how I was gonna do this. But uh, yeah, so far, looks really good. Let's uh, go ahead and get this prepped up and uh, let's try it out. Okay, you guys, so here's sort of uh, the final build on this. Now, I didn't have like a box or anything for the battery, so I just taped the, uh, the battery terminals to a connector and then soldered a connector here. And I ended up just using uh, black uh, non-conductive tape to sort of just patch everything up. It looks kind of nasty in this light, but you know what? In a way, um, it won't be seen when it's actually worn. So it's all kind of behind the scenes type stuff right there. Uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with the way that looks and came out. And uh, let's go ahead and turn off the lights and have a little bit of fun.